Florence is known for its art, architecture and famous monuments, making it a unique and gorgeous place to visit. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Florence. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. The best time to visit Florence is between April to September when the weather is warm, open air dining options are available and art festivals occur throughout the summer months. April, May and September are the best times to visit if you want to avoid the crowds. October and November are rainy season in Florence, making it hard to see the sights, but you can enjoy cheaper rates at this time. So now let's look at getting there. The easiest way to get to Florence is by flying into the Florence Airport or the Pisa International Airport. There are non-stop flights available for most countries in Europe, whilst those traveling from the US will need to make connecting flights in Europe. Once you arrive, you can catch the train from Pisa Airport with the ride taking around an hour, whilst those flying into Florence Airport can catch a bus into the historic center in under 30 minutes. If you are traveling around Italy, you can also catch a high-speed train to Florence from Rome or Milan, or opt for taking a road trip to the city. Then, whilst you are in Florence, we can look at getting around. The best way to get around Florence is by walking it. Get comfortable shoes and be careful of those cobbled streets at night. You could also use the ATAF buses to get around the city, but make sure to avoid using taxis or driving as large parts of the city centre are off limit to drivers. So now let's look at the typical prices. Accommodation is going to be one of your biggest expenses in Florence. Dorm beds in a hostel start at 30 euros a night. Mid-range hotels begin at 100, whilst five-star hotels cost around 400 euros. A simple coffee and pastry starts at around three euros, whilst a panini lunch will cost around four. Pizza for one is between five to nine euros, depending on how close you are to the main attractions, whilst a simple pasta dish will cost you around eight euros. You can find dinner options from 18, whilst a glass of wine can be found for under six euros in the local bars. Italy is an expensive place to visit, but there are some ways to save money whilst you're in Florence. Firstly, like we mentioned before, visit Florence between the end of October to the start of March for cheaper accommodation prices, and those looking to book a hostel should book well in advance. You could also save money by staying outside the historic center and bike into town. You could also rent an apartment using Airbnb, but also websites like Windows on Italy or your place in Florence. We will leave some of these links in the description below. Also, make sure to enjoy the three things to do in Florence as well, like walking across the city's only remaining medieval bridge and enjoy the sweeping views of the city from the various viewpoints. Avoid drinking too many coffees or wines as these prices can add up and buy combo tickets for the art galleries and museums. So now let's look at the best things to do in Florence. Florence has a lot to offer visitors. Firstly, head to the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, known for its famous dome. Then head to the Uffizi, a treasure trove of Renaissance art. See Michelangelo's famous artwork in the Galleria dell'Accademia, then taking gorgeous views of the city from the Piazzale Michelangelo. Foodies should head to the Mercato Central, whilst history lovers should visit the many churches, museums and historic landmarks found here. Watch this video to find out the best places to visit in Italy. Then, to learn more about the most romantic destinations in Europe, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Florence and stay creative.